Hello engineers, in this video we will examine how we can use Microsoft Advisor in order to optimize cost for our Azure subscription. If you enjoy my content, make sure you subscribe on my channel. Microsoft Advisor provides relevant best practices to help you improve reliability, security, performance and achieve operational excellence and reduce cost inside your Azure subscription. It is a built-in tool that anyone can find under Azure services by pressing the advisor button. Inside the advisor, you can find that automatically an advisor score is calculated based on some specific pillars. These pillars is cost, security, reliability, operational excellence and performance. Azure will automatically go and calculate your score based on the resources and the usage that you actually implementing inside your account. My subscription is pretty empty. As a result, you can find only few recommendations inside our advisor. By navigating in all recommendations, I can find that I have a medium impact recommendation indicates that I should use NAT gateway for outbound connectivity inside my virtual network. This recommendation as it's shown is impacting only one resource, but given that you have more resources inside your subscription, you can find more recommendations regarding performance, operational excellence, reliability, security and costs. Especially when we want to reduce our costs inside our Azure subscription, we can go and use the predefined workbooks that are located inside the advisor. When you navigate in workbooks, you can find the cost optimization workbook, which you can press and then this will navigate us in a new pane that show us some specific pillars like compute, Azure hybrid benefit, storage and networking. By pressing each specific pane, you can find more narrowed down information for specific resources like virtual machines, AKS, app service and general recommendations. This built-in workbook will try and reduce your cost inside your Azure subscription by giving actionable insights for your resources. As you can see, I don't have specific recommendations right now for the resources that I'm running, but given that I had more resources, I could find some useful recommendations. As an example, we can see that this workbook automatically search if we have VMs in a stop state. The stop state will charge our VMs and we will need to add them in a deallocated state instead of a stop state. Also, another recommendation that we can find under the advisor is that we should prefer using spot VMs on virtual machine scale sets for dev or QA resources in order to eliminate costs. Spot VMs in general provide a much lower cost benefit for our Azure subscription as these VMs charge a lot lower than the regular VMs. Microsoft will provide those recommendations based on the well-architected framework and cost optimization pillar that you can find from the documentation reference. Another advantage of using this workbook would be the edit button that you can do and optimize it based on your needs. You can remove, edit or add panels as you can see from here, but also you can filter resources based on the ones that you want to see. For example, you can select specific resource group to watch instead of all that are provided by default. By using this functionality, you can quickly find relevant recommendations and create powerful reports based on your setup. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below if you have already used Advisor Workbooks.